Hi folks, back to uh, First Minister's Questions, uh, the autumn season. Uh, both Stuart and Alex are away visiting their soon-to-be foreign relatives in England. <laughs> so they're not with us. Um, what did you think today then? Um, well, it was actually quite lacklustre. I was expecting a bit more. Um, I, I thought... Salmon was, well, I don't know how he managed to be caught on the back foot there um, when it was coming to the NPD programme and all that. But jo And Joanne was in, I suppose that's it, because Joanne was in very good form today um, and had him waffling um, and definitely on the back foot. Um, if you talk about the other ones, um, Ruth Davis messing about with her figures on full-time students, but they have really whacked the... There's no two ways about it. The college courses, and it's it comes up with the same thing again about oh yes, but we're protecting all the full time courses, the full time courses. Um, but there's an awful lot of people, particularly mothers and all that, trying to get into work, and people that are trying to work and can only do part time courses. You know, but it, them, it's um, the decision making, isn't it? I mean, you if if you yeah, you have to yeah yeah if to. you're going to put the money into free full time higher education, it's got to come from somewhere. Yeah, well, yeah, you can't no. please everybody. And then, of course, there was um, Willie and his obsession God. with two-year-olds. Why he does it, I don't know. So is, that, is that his specialist subject? I have no idea. I mean, really, what the hell at the end as, of the I day mean, was. Has he actually, do you think he's actually even had any communication with Clegg about singing off the same song sheet? I mean, Clegg's position is quite simple. Uh, the money we're paying... What is it? It's going to be five to one ratio, teacher to, to kid down yeah. there. You're not going to need a qualification of any sort. Yeah, you're only going to have you to know? have one qualified oh. person. You can have another load of um, going back to the yeah young people getting a minimum wage. Uh, basically, yeah, but it, it's it's yeah, just to be nursery education and no, it becomes not, child minding. That's all it is. Yeah, but then they'll they'll work it up. You but know? to my mind, the highlight actually was the biggest own goal today. Oh, was when James Kelly stood up and started going on about um, <laughs> the lack of council houses. Is there a lack of council houses, social housing built? Without a doubt. But uh, I'm sorry, the Labour Party should keep quiet about that. When 13 years of a new Labour government, um, and when they left office, there was 5 million people in the UK that were on social housing waiting list. We built the smallest houses in Europe, um, you know, I mean, they, they, they hardly happen to it up here. I mean, a communities minister at a time, um, you can work it out. His, he should remain nameless. But apparently it wasn't a done thing to build council houses at the time. They had this obsession with getting people buying their own houses. You know, this was the whole thing. Uh, yeah, try buying your house on a minimum wage. But uh, ta uh, tactically, it was really, really stupid. naive. He gave salmon the chance. Under, to nothing built at all under the present Scottish Labour's leaders and was it six under well there was zero built yeah. when Lamont was in charge and six when Ian, uh, Gray. Ian Gray was in charge and so he got a pop at Ian Gray who's just back in the fold <laughs> he got a pop at Joanne who's doing really well up to there I think somebody should have a wee word with James Kelly and tell him you know I mean it, it was just silly because at the end of the day with they're just looking at figures and you know what they say about figures um figures don't lie but liars figure um but a 31 percent rise in social housing, um, yeah, it should be more, but then that's obviously more than them. Still not enough, um, so they're both right in a new way, but I mean, sorry, why give somebody a, a cudgel to hit you with? Well, talking about cudgels, I, I was a bit surprised um, with this Peter Harrison thing that Lamont came out with as a senior civil servant accusing Salmond of... Uh, hiding behind him or worse than that what she seemed to say was that he was allowing himself to be a shield for the SNP mm. Margot MacDonald st uh, stood up at the end to underline the point with a point of order which technically wasn't a point of order but she got to say what she wanted mm. to say um, that that's that's nasty yeah but the, but you, you, you found that as well because Joanne spoiled her start as well um, well, she started off was quite funny, you know, the squirrel refreshed and all that. And then she started off with the, you know, it's that personalising, dig, dig. I mean, it's, sorry, it should be beneath um, a prospective first minister. 
um, or any serious politician to have silly personal dicks um, innuendos um, but I suppose you call the whole thing it's all under it's all about fudmongering isn't it really you know, well I mean I, I have to admit fear I mean, and uncertainty a doubt about people's characters this that and the next thing it's just um, not well, on I thought I thought Joanne did well this week in yeah. fact um, I think she maybe beat Simon yeah at the beginning on, she, yeah, I think on she did the, a on better performance yeah, yeah. interaction he didn't look steady on his feet He's, he really didn't um, he kind of waffled got his words mixed up a bit so I'd, I would reckon that Joanne won that particular one and then spoiled it yeah by attacking uh, the civil service which you know Salmond was quite right they can't defend themselves and then accused Salmond of doing exactly the same thing when he quoted the wrong figures last year but I don't remember Salmond sort of blaming the civil servants no. I, I'm, in fact the mom certainly said it was a printing error and I suppose Probably to uh, avoid that. I mean, you can see that it is that half, that half billion, which is the Inquisition, the acquisition, Inquisition, acquisition fund, which is different to the actual capital spend. You know. Well, that I, I need to have a, a sort of deeper look at this, but I'm sure this came up last year, um, and the argument is that the figure given was the capital spend figure not the total figure for all the projects, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Um, so, as I said earlier, it's a bit like, you know, do you include having to buy the tools yeah. in the price of doing the job? Well, I suppose you should. I'm not yeah. entirely sure that the SNP aren't guilty here of uh, of a little bit of fudging themselves. Oh, yeah. but what's the excuse for Edinburgh, then? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, paying twice as much for half of what you wanted. Well, I mean, I, we still see it on Twitter, it pops up every now and again, people blame the SNP for the trams. The one party that was against it from day yeah. one. It's well, strange. because they funded it. Well, they're all saying because the SNP funded it, but the SNP didn't have any option but to fund it from the Scottish Parliament in 2007 yeah. um, because they were a minority. Um, yeah, but then, of course, you're talking about politicians, so you're talking about people that, uh, you know, I mean, if, you, if, if you're really, really being optimistic now and again, they speak <coughs> the truth. You know, I mean, basically they play with the truth, you know, and everything else, as they always say, how to tell when a politician's lying. Alison Johnson of the Greens. Yeah, that was quite a good one. Um, who, who kind of focused on women, um, and I think it was Salmon that came out with a figure that at the moment it's a 4.5% 4, 4 cut um, in, in welfare to them, and especially single parents, 90% of whom are women, yeah. are feeling it but then said it's going up to 8.5% over the piece. Uh, but that would be because of the was that track. Was that a question he knew was coming? He seemed very well prepared for it. Maybe, yeah. yeah. But, well, I think he would need to be pretty well on the ball when it comes to questions on women. Because, well, he, um, well, because who is it doesn't like salmon when it comes to the electorate, apparently? It's women. Well, that was the other and I noticed that um, she tried to get her boots into Lamont this is tried to get her boots into Nicola Sturgeon as well mm. which is where the whole 0. 0.8 billion um, as opposed to 3 billion came into play it seems very much as though it's going to be the same old same old play the man not the ball which is a pay because I think maybe Joanne's been away to finishing school yeah, she's definitely had some... She, her presentation was a lot better. Um, yep, yeah, sort of concentrating because, again, just very slightly where she was going down to her notes, down to her notes. Um, but um, no, quite often it just appeared to be... Well, it looked as if it was off the cuff or, you know, that she did... That it just came from the heart. It, uh, mm, and the head. I mean, uh, she's still doing the sound bite thing. Yeah. You know... Uh, almost putting too many in yeah well it's yeah, digs 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 um yeah we get two good ones hmm. and that'll do you um because the bbc aren't going to spend much time on it are they no well, i thought that was really bad as well the way i mean he's uh, the way he's waffling away so you miss the initial bit of the first question which is what her whole bit is about and then you miss Ruth Davis is, is explaining what he hasn't let you see in the first place. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, well, maybe maybe he was just colour blind well, with his Ruth, braces. I don't know. Ruth Ruth's still got the same problem she's always had, hasn't she? She's been a Tory, and the Tories are ripping the world apart. I'm sorry, I just you, you have a look at it. She's given you all this that, and you you can't take it seriously. You know, um, you know, it's you just can't take it seriously when someone's part of a group of mass murderers, basically telling you you've got to be kind to people, and you know. <laughs> Which is what they're doing. I mean, again. so overall impression, we're not particularly impressed. Although Joanne's impressed us, yeah. Yeah, Joanne was definitely better. I'd, I'd actually give a level. Um, yeah, just le- level pegging with with Sam and easy at least. I mean, in fact, maybe even just a wee bit ahead. Actually, yeah, point, I think. points for Alex. Um, actually, I thought he was very lackluster. If I'm just going with him and the Joanne, I'll give him six and I'll give her seven. Ruth, Ruth. <laughs> um, well, I could see what she did, but she did bring it up. So I'll, I'll, I'll give her a two. That's very generous. Of yeah, you. it is. Yeah, Willie gets nothing. Um, Willie gets zero for I being. I mean, sorry. I mean, not for being somebody, a repetitive asshole. <laughs> yeah, until somebody actually tell me what is the point of Willie. You know. Um, well, I I have to say that I Alex I think got beat. I think Joanne beat him this week. Yeah, that's why I'll give her. I'll give her a point ahead because she lost it by personalising. And if she didn't go personalised and kept it that way, uh, I'd have given her more. But she well, I no, no. Nah. He he got better. I don't want to appear biased either. Well, the exchange with him and Joanne, I, I'm going to give him a five on that, mm. and I'm going to give Joanne a seven, which would have been an eight, as you say. Had she the one that really particularly annoyed me was the blaming the civil servant. Yeah. I think that's out of order. Ruthie, I'm going to give her a two as well for turning up. Willie, I should really give him points for tenacity, shouldn't I? I mean, how many times has he brought that bloody two-year-old's thing up? No, as I said, umpteen times, what really, really, really needs is a slap. Um, you know, go uh, away, boy. And I'm giving him nothing. <laughs> Presiding officer? Um, she did have to crack the whip a couple of times. Yeah, but she was, well, she was good to say, because it went, because it, in, in a sense... You didn't really notice it. That it was the only time I really noticed it was when she says that's not a point of order. Uh, so yeah, I'll give her. Yeah, I'll give her. A, I'll give her the same as Joanne. Well, seven. Yeah, I'll give her a seven. I'll give her an eight. I'll give her an eight. Well, Alex has been beaten soundly by three. Alex on eleven. Joanne on fourteen, which I think is fairly fair. Yeah, because he Ruth, was. Ruth's got a four. We, we need to get over our Tory bias on Ruth. We really do. Well, well, well she should find a subject that... Um, but there isn't one. There's no, nothing. There isn't. Yeah, There's well, nothing. It's just tough. You know, um, it's I just mean, tough. she can't go health service. She can't go welfare. Where, she can't go housing. Where, she, where can she go? There's nowhere to go. Well, sorry then. She should change. You know, ed- edu- education is about um. the only ground. But even then, you know, all mm. Samad has to say is nine grand. And she's out of it. The total winner today, actually, was the presiding officer. Yeah. Well done, the presiding officer. But then, being basically non-political, just in, in that sense, isn't it? You know. Um, so, yeah, out of the leaders, I definitely think. Um, but and I, and I think Margot deserves at least a nine. Oh, Margot deserves to be the first president of an independent Scotland, I think. That would be absolutely brilliant. Um, because she'll lay into anyone. That's the whole point with Margot. She'll lay into any either or you know yeah she will do she will do she her, her facial expressions behind mrs johnson were quite interesting to get the chance to watch yeah. it you should do folks yeah yes go back go, go back on it yes it was some, some very good um yeah didn't need any words her face told it all you know and also just to watch um somebody shooting themselves in the head and in the foot called james kelly which was absolutely superb you know he thought what the minute he opened his mouth and started, I thought, don't go there. Just don't go there um, on housing. You know, it's... <laughs> that, I mean, the, the Labour Party have a problem that should be a Tory problem. Hmm? But their past record in all the important areas can be cast up to them. Um, and they're not saying anything about how they'll change that if they get into power in Scotland again. But they they mm. could start, and the first thing they actually have to do is they call it a mayor culpa. Is they have to confess. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, and they have to basically um, throw out um, and com- and do in Tony Blair. They need to do in because they, they st- I mean, they hear it all the time. Then they go, oh, but he won us three elections. Um, is that any reason? Well, actually, he didn't. He won his own election. You know, I mean, here, Mark won our election. Um, I've, I've always been very reticent to, to talk in terms of arrogance about them, the Labour Party. But I'm beginning to wonder, because the, there's a vehicle there that they should be involved in, which is the common wheel. Mm. Now, they should be there. They should be part of that. I mean, even if it's just to water it down a bit, so it doesn't look so scary for people, Some uh, well, certain sections of society, but they're not. I can't see anything and scary about it. It seems makes... to be an arrogance based on, you know, we're the Labour Party, we know best. Yeah, and I, mean, didn't I, think I about had it. to I had to laugh, um, I watched the statement Simon made on Tuesday, and <laughs> Lamont got up and basically said, oh yeah, we've, we've, we've agreed that what we'll do is we'll sit down with you and da da da, and I'm thinking, yeah, you'll sit down, you'll tell them what you want to happen. You'll take no responsibility for the cuts in other budgets to cover the 50 million they want for, this is about the uh, bedroom tax. Um, because what you want is as much inside knowledge as you can get to give Salmon the kicking. Mm. Why should he agree to that? And they've done nothing that makes that a genuine offer. You know, I'm, I'm sorry, you can't, you can't trust them. I mean, basically, well, you look at Bailey, she'll say anything to score points, but it, true but or untrue. It's an arrogance, but it's also, um, it's, it's so petty. I mean, if you look here in Edinburgh, um, and if you look at um, Labour politicians, if you look at the first Labour leader, the first Labour leader of Edinburgh in the council, the first time Edinburgh won, Alec Wood, uh, supports independence. John Mulvey, regional uh, leader of the regional council, supports independence. And I suppose there's quite a few others around that maybe support independence, but don't open their mouth. Um, and it's this whole idea that, they're tr- oh, they're always stupid, they're this. Henry McLeish gets, oh, Henry McLeish is always a talk rubbish. Henry McLeish is going, well, why was he the leader? Why did you make him first minister? But because it's that whole idea, sorry, it's, but it, it, I it's, don't agree with you. And I'm quite happy to say, and be friends with people, but I don't but agree. The, but it's just, but you're not, talking rubbish. You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. No, I just have a different opinion. But the, it's the selfishness mm. of the situation because they're denying the people the choice of a Labour Party. Mm. It's also profoundly undemocratic. But it's it's so important that we have, well, <laughs> is it? We've got the SNP who are looking decidedly more left of centre than the Labour Party. Yeah. Um, and, but, I, and, and I suppose we can be criticised in Scotland for having <laughs> basically everybody's left of centre or yeah. totally ignored by the electorate. I mean, I can't see the Liberals making a huge comeback and the, the Tories are dead ducks no no but who would ever have believed that you would view the Labour Party as being right of the SNP oh well I, th- I, th- I think a lot of that but I think it's it's you know historically you would never have thought in it's those terms. new Labour they did it I mean new Labour there's no I mean with the exception of her I'm, I'm pointing here at um, a balloon of Maggie Thatcher, Thatcher that says which has her face on it and also being rather childish I still hate Thatcher, um, but she was without a doubt the most right-wing government post-war. Um, next to that was Tony Blair. There's absolutely no doubt, with the exception well, of Maggie Thatcher, I'm, I'm Tony s- Blair's government was the most right-wing I'm sorry, since the there's things, Second World War. There's things being done today by Cameron's government that Thatcher would never dreamt of oh. attempting. Yeah, but it's been a progression. The reason they're doing it now is like, like with the health service in England and Wales. It's a continuation. Um, the tools and the mechanism were put in place by the by New Labour. Particularly, it was Labour that started off with bringing in the private sector everywhere. Labour that didn't in, didn't um, enhance our trade union rights, our employment rights. You have bits and pieces which they point at, but we still have the worst in Europe. Um, huge 
housing. Yeah, short yeah, housing's a big one. Um, but but actually, going back to, when it looked from the beginning of Blair to the end of Blair, because you know they were all so relaxed about the filthy rich that you were basically going back into Dickensian times to find a bigger disparity of wealth from those at the bottom and those at the top. Um, there's a lot. Yeah, they did. They do things well. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the debt that was piled up for health services, health boards, and that was they're crippled with PFIs, paying out mm. massive amounts of money. Which, which, to, getting back on topic, was a point that Alex Salmond laboured today. Yeah, because well, local authorities, uh, governments borrow money cheap. Um, yeah, it, it's obvious, but it was just you know. Lots of mistakes, and let's just hope they learn about it. Well, that is First Minister's questions. We've gone way off topic, um, because it wasn't particularly enlightening, and it was really quite predictable. Joanne, the she won today between the various leaders, so maybe all that bunker training she did during the summer is going to pay off. Not well, happy with her playing the man either the civil service or Alex Salmond, it just does not look dignified. Thank you, Phil. Yeah, and let's just hope we get a bit more content in it this time, next time, over the next session. Uh, and hopefully next week we'll have Stuart and Alex back, um, having renewed their bonds with their foreign relations south of the border. Cheers for now. <laughs>